be aware, but we recently have lost. I thought I wasn't going to be this emotional. Um, an icon in our industry. Joe Weider passed away recently. His name is a pioneer who has become synonymous with health, fitness, and above all bodybuilding. Joe Weider was born into a world where bodybuilding, as we know it, did not exist. It transformed during his lifetime from an afterthought of weightlifting, from a recreation that was not considered a sport, from a form of exercise that real athletes would never engage because they were told it would leave them muscle bound or flabby when their muscles turned to fat from an activity that women should never do because it would make them masculine. It transformed into what our sport has now become, the centerpiece of physical culture. And one form of exercise that all athletes, runners, ball players, fighters, swimmers, triathletes, you name it, agree is the cornerstone of their fitness routine. The one truly international sport, and it transformed into all of this because of Joe Weider. This man, Joe Weider, born into poverty in the hard days of 1919, forced to leave school in the seventh grade to help support his family. Looked into the future, and what did he see? He saw a world where fitness gyms would exist in every city, town, police station, military base, hotel, university, high school, middle school, and prison. And then he created it. He looked into the future and saw the ignorance and misinformation and stubbornness of the medical community and educators and experts washed away by the truth about exercise, proper nutrition, and resistance training. And then he gave us that truth. He looked into the future and saw a society that finally learned to admire strength, vigor, good health, and yes, muscles. And then he gave us role models. This is a man who loved bodybuilding, a generous man who helped create this very place where muscles were born, Muscle Beach, the center of the bodybuilding world. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, the very seats that you are sitting in two years ago was, were donated by Joe and Betty Weir. How do we honor the man who gave us Muscle and Fitness, Shape Magazine, Flex, Men's Fitness, the man who created the IFBB to support both amateur, professional, bodybuilding contest and then gave us the pinnacle of bodybuilding the Mr. Olympia contest the man who introduced to us and made household names of Larry Scott Lee Haney Reg Park Lou Ferrigno Franco Colombo and Arnold Schwarzenegger we honor him by being here today at the Memorial Day Muscle Beach International Classic and Armed Forces Championship. Now, join me in welcoming, welcoming his bride, the first lady of bodybuilding and fitness, Mrs. Joe Weider, Betty Weider. But I have Franco Colombo, Eric Weider, Mick Skinner, representing Bodybuilding.com. Join Betty on stage. Oh. Ben.
and Eddie Giuliani representing Iron Man magazine. Betty, would you like to say a few words? I want to thank you all for being here and thank all the beautiful letters, emails that I've received from around the world. Thousands of them. Why I don't have this on? Uh, and beautiful things you've said about Joe and how meaningful he was and how he, most importantly, he changed the lives, your lives, and he not just bodybuilding, but people in all aspects of doctors, teachers, attorneys, how through bodybuilding they learn discipline, how he inspired them in this magazine. And just thank you for all the beautiful letters and emails from around the world. I don't have much to add. If Joe was here, he would say, let's get on with the show already. <laughs> because he was many things, bodybuilder, I mean, businessman, philanthropist, philosopher, but at his core, he was a bodybuilder. And he'd want to see the show. So let's have a great show. Thank yeah. you very much for coming. Woo! One last thing before we get started. I'd like everybody to stand up. We're going to give three cheers for Joe. Woo! Thank you, Joe Whitley. I would like to say very quick that the show is becoming as big as Mr. Olympia. Thanks to you, Joe. Thank you. And also I would like to say very quick that Joe Guida ended up having nine, ten magazines and they sold each magazine like Muslim Fits more than a million. And one time Betty got this great idea about uh, about Shape Magazine, and Shape Magazine became so big, it was the biggest magazine in the United States. Thank you, Becky. So now we are ready. What we are ready for now? Okay, first of all, Nick Skinner, would you please present to Betty Weeder the Icon of Fitness Award from Muscle Beach in Joe's name. <laughs> now, Eddie, don't miss your cue. Three cheers for Joe. Hip hip. Hooray. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Eddie. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. 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 One of his favorite instruments in the world was a bagpipe. And we have one of the best in the industry today, Mr. Eric Riegler, performing.